So today it's more like a March day here in the Portland area. It's about 46 and it's raining. Hi! At my house. I'm at my house with my horses. So I went up and fed them under the trees so that they could stay dry up there and they're all moving around. They're playing shuffle. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to say hi to them. See you in a minute. Hey there, it's Bridget. So today it's a typical Portland day. It is about 45 and we just had a big hailstorm and now we have gusting winds and I fed the horses up under the trees here. They're a little spooky. Um, but I went back and got my car because I've got to fix a fence and I'll show that to you. Let's say hi to the horses. Hi Sparks. Hi Nut. Me being lazy with my car. So I'm going to kind of show you what um, what I got to do here real quick. Let me say hi to Sparks. Sparks. They were running around all scared and the wind just picked up out of nowhere. It was kind of strange. Cat, you want an apple? There you go. So what happens on these fence posts is sometimes they break. So like this one. I'm going to replace it here in a second. I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, see I just replaced that. Another one of the horses came up. This is Winnie. She's my neighbor's horse. No, I don't got nothing. Eat your hay. Eat your hay, please. She is a lovely 20-year-old Arabian that I've been taking care of for about the last year and a half. She has really good hoofs. I just had those done. I just had her teeth done by the holistic dentist. And I'm considering rehoming her. She is gentle. Um, not much phases her. She does need to live in a pasture with other horses. I mean, that's just a no-duh. All horses need to do that. Um, and, you know, I would definitely be checking out the house that she goes to. So if you know of anyone that's looking for just a real nice, agreeable mare, you can email me. But anyway, yeah, just a second ago we had hooligans up here wild and crazy and full of fleas and never been curried below the knees because of the, the wind. Marley's over there. I don't know if you can see him. He's under one of those trees. He doesn't really trust coming up here and he's got hay to himself. Um, but now things have settled down. The wind is just crazy though. It just keeps gusting and hailing and yesterday it was 60. So that's just Portland for you. We got Cutter. He's over there chilling, relaxing, eating his hay and they're able to stay somewhat dry under these trees. Um, so yeah, not getting much done in the way of playing today, but just kind of trying to make it through the day and hopefully tomorrow it isn't as as rainy. Um, I guess one of the things I can talk about maybe while we're just watching the horses eat is um, a concept I heard Pat Pirelli talking about on either an article recently or it might have been on the Colts starting DVD, but I just loved this concept and I've been mulling it over and I think that it's it's really 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 something to consider and what I got out of it was you know there's three ways a horse can look at something with you um, they can tolerate whatever it is you're offering to the horse they can accept whatever it is you're offering to the horse or they can seek whatever it is you're offering to the horse and I just, that blew me away because I totally see that with my horses and I see that so much uh, with other horses, especially people that quote unquote show their horses, which I absolutely hate that word. My idea of, of show is it's the best of the worst that showed up that day because most, most of the good horsemen um, don't participate in blue ribbon things. That's just for humans to feel good about themselves and think their horse is better than others when it's just the same horse that poops and has four, same four legs. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. But anyway, competition, that's another story. That's all for humans, no matter what the sport is. Um, and most of the time it's done, you know, at the expense of the horse, not with the horse. But anyway, there are some good horsemen out there that they excel at their sports and uh, still keep the horse first and foremost. But you know, so I see a lot of this tolerating. You can see it in the horse's demeanor. Um, and then I see allowing too. For one thing, one thing that maybe is an example of that is, is um, brushing a horse. You know, most horses don't want to be brushed. 
they want to be, um, oops, it's on the ground. They want to be uh, itched. They like you to find their itchy spots. Go away. Um, but, you know, they'll tolerate you brushing them, usually, or allow you to brush them, usually. There's some horses that enjoy it, but most of them really want you to get in and get those itchy spots. And uh, so that's kind of an example of that. Um, sometimes trailering, you know, is, is more of a tolerate at best, allow at best, certainly not seek. Um, but what is really cool is when you make that connection with your horse and you've got their mind, body, and soul and they seek that activity with you. And, and I have that a lot with my guys when they want to play with me and it's, it's, it's truly a privilege. You know, it's something that is hard to earn and easy to lose and so I keep that in mind every day. Nice backup. Horses uh, typically are forward-moving animals, and so for them to back up, they have to think, and it helps them use the thinking part of their brain, so that's cool when they do that. Um, so anyway, that's my goal, is to really have my horse seek what my idea is and what, what we're trying to accomplish. And so uh, I'm just curious what you thought on that, and do you see that in your horse? Do you really pay attention and see whether the horse is allowing, tolerating, allowing, or seeking? He just moved off. Cutter used to be the boss, and then Cutter said, screw that, it's too much work. And so Sparkles is the boss, and quite frankly, he's a terrible boss because he's afraid of everything. But anyway, excuse me, Sparkles, I'm going to grab, oh, I guess there's not much left in here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of that. And uh, anyway, we'll be back at you when the weather's a little bit better, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.